Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Nintegi Gamer, and welcome back to some more Paper Mario Sticker Star. In the last episode, we did 2 4 Damp Oasis. In today's episode, we're going to go to Dry Bake Desert. I already paperized a couple of things, and please don't be up, please don't be up, please don't be up. Yes! Alright, I tried recording this earlier, and um, I built the tower. And I ran, and my, and the camera didn't have enough recording time. So I thought, oh no, I lost the cutscene. But luckily, I didn't save, so I get to show you the cutscene. So this is where you'll need all three tablet pieces. As you can see, they, there are spots here where they'll fit in like jigsaw puzzles. So no derp, you want to put the lower one there, and then the, this one here. Now, also, the thing, you don't have to be completely perfect. But you get the idea of where you want to put them. I mean, like, I mean, obviously, if I put it there, it's not gonna work. Oh, never mind. It auto puts it there. <laughs> never mind. The game can do it for you. I'm, I'm joking. And here's the awesome cutscene. And they, holy cow, oh, they even roll out the red carpet for us. But yeah, today's episode, we're going to be beating World 2 and taking on Dry Bake Stadium. That's the name of this level. Oh my, wow, can you believe such an incredible tower stood here? Something that big getting ripped out without a doubt. So, getting, so, that, something that big getting ripped out without a doubt. Someone's using the superpower of a royal sticker. So Mario, are you ready? There's... Sure to be a secret lurking within this tower. Yeah, I can't read. Alright, so we're gonna walk through the front door. That's what everyone does. Alright, this place is just built like an old Howard Griff. I mean, old pyramid, basically. But in tower form. Now, you're gonna want to pay attention to the... Oh, poop. Dang, Nobby. God dang it. Okay, let's see. Do I have any line jumps? I do, I do, yes indeed. I say it's good to be playing Paper Mario again. I had a nice little break Thursday and Friday. I did manage to post some stuff Friday, but from recording, not to hang out with my family that came down. You can see that Toad is holding a boot up there, back there. You notice, you'll be stopped here. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to hit the paperization button, whip out a boot and put it in his right hand. And then, you're going to want to put a normal hammer in his left hand. I may have to look up a guide, because it gets pretty cryptic at the end. And so... Oh, I did it wrong! And Toad laughs at you. Oh, I had the boot in the Oh, I had the boot in the wrong hand! Dang it! That really sucks, so we lost those stickers, so... Hammer in the right hand. That stinks. Now Toad's gonna give us the go. So you definitely want to pay attention to the hieroglyphics real quick. And here we have, ooh, a shiny jump. Perfect. And in this one is a shiny hammer. So they kind of give you back better versions of what you've just used there, which is cool. Alright. I love the drawing of the toads. It looks funny. I've shown you if we're going up and down. And ooh, now we have cave enemies. What you're going to do is here, you're going to hit this if you want the spike top. Then you're going to want to sink. Not all the way. Once you're under there... Start jumping again because there's a scrap over here we're gonna need. And the camera's getting a little blurry. Let me fix that. Alright, there we go, guys. I'm back. I zoomed it in a little bit more so we would have some more space. I know room for that fire flower. 
That was the sticky part, is that when you're going back, you have to fight the current. Although, don't jump into the spikes when you get over here. And if, the scary thing is if that gum is following us. Stop behind us. They pop out of the wall, they become real. So do the Koopas, and oh my gosh. So we fight the mural, Koopas and mural Goombas here, which are really creepy looking, if you ask me. So, let's pound them into submission, shall we? I probably should not have used the jump. I don't know if they go into shells, like the normal Koopas. But they look all weird as hell. They're creepy. Hecky Hammer, probably should have used the line jump. Alright, now I'm just going to use a normal jump if I have any left. I got two left, which is good. Booyah! Bazinga! Ah, I ran out of things to say. That wasn't very good. Ah. Oh, cool, I killed both of them. Sweet! And here we got some spike traps. And oh, geez, spikes throwing their spikes at us. Jump over him. Oh no, I didn't. Dang it. Go dang it. Okay. Oh no. Oh, darn it. I'm gonna have to use a hammer attack then. Oh well. I'm out of normal hammers? Oh, that's bizarre. I don't have any more normal hammers. Oh, we'll use a slap hammer. Dang it. I suck at throwing hammers. Okay. Alright, sorry about that guys. I'm finally back and uh, mom's calling. There we go. Oh no, it's not gonna stop that guy from attacking me. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, that almost went over Mario's head. Weird. Alright, we're gonna use a jump attack. Cause I'm running low on regular stickers for hammers. That's good, you wanna have a lot of shiny stickers. But Sally, all these shiny jump stickers are not gonna do me any well with the boss. I'll explain later. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to have to use a hop slipper, I guess. Alrighty then. Bam. Done. Alright, let's run. Oh yes, give me that hot jump sticker. I need that. As you can see, you cannot progress any further without the door. Walking over here, you can kind of see the room over there. I'm going to take this Ecky hammer here. Let's put that door back into place. Booyah! Is he gonna take us up another floor? And oh my gosh, Buzzy Beetle. Jeez, I didn't even see that guy. Let's see. I'm gonna use a jump. All right, now he's gonna attack me, yada yada. Booyah, blah. And I'm gonna use a iron jump sticker. To wipe him out. Alrighty, moving on up in the world. Or shall I say tower? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. All right, oh no, 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 I will not take bah hammers. Bah hammers are terrible. Oh, come on, I need good stickers. Bah hammer and spike top. Lol. Alright, let's keep going. Alright. I think we should also pay attention to the hieroglyphics again. Oh, so. Oh, dang it. I don't want to fight you, and I'm in the quicksand. Great. If I don't hurry up, we'll die in the quicksand. I'm gonna have to use a shiny hammer sticker. I need to do the splash damage. Really? Oh, this is crumpled. Um, guess I'll just use my Eki hammer. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Awesome. Oh, yes! Give me that spike ball sticker. 
and I'm gonna jump in there for that money real quick. No, money, come back to me. No, I'm kidding. All right, so looks like we got a boot in his right hand. Stop throwing your balls at me. That came out wrong. <laughs> oh, looks like we have to put three up. So the jump was in his right hand. Hammer in his left. And spike top on his head. Alrighty then. Okay. Is there any way to get up there? Do you... Wait a minute. No? Like, maybe there's invisible blocks I can only hammer? Nope. Alright, well at least we know. It's hammer, spike top, jump. No, don't you dare. Okay, thank you. Ooh, burn hammer. Sweet. These are really good. But since we have a worn out hammer over here, we're going to use that instead. I want to use your crummier stuff. Alright, if I remember correctly, it's spike top in the middle. If I'm probably doing this wrong, you're, you guys are probably screaming at, screaming through the, the YouTube computer screen, yelling, No! It's the other way around! That's probably what's happening, but I'm pretty sure this is correct. Hmm. Oh, man. I'm going to have to put... Oh, uh, just... Nah, you know what? I guess I'll just put an iron jump sticker. I hope it takes the iron jump sticker. Yay! He took it. Awesome. So we can move on up again. Let's see what we get from this one. Oh, sweet. Another burn hammer. And out of this one, we get a pal. Cool. Alright, let's keep on moving up. Skidooshly douche. Oh, jeez, a room full of buzzy beetles. Get out, get out, get out. Thank you. Alright. So we cannot go the right way because there's sand. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. There's also a door out this way. That's neat. I think we have to come out here first. Oh. Um. Oh, I guess it was just for a sticker. Nope, don't you dare touch me. Oh, yeah. So how are you guys' days going? Mine's going good. to clean the house up. Gonna have the... Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, bleh. See, that's how tired I am from cleaning. I'm having a, um, oh. Oh, I missed the first one. Yeah, Ouija is throughout the game. We missed the first location back in World 1. I'll go back and show that in the next video. But you get a, a special secret when you beat the game and have all Lu Luigi pulled from all five locations. But yeah, I'll show that in the next video. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great 23rd. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, yay! Yeah, I'm having Christmas Eve at, at my house, so we've been cleaning the house all day. I'm finally getting to get some recording. Alright, came through that hole in the wall, got across the room. As you can see, there's a door here, but the sand is blocking the door. So you're going to come around here. Dang it! Oh, that shy guy jumped in. You know what? I'm going to roll my battle spinner. Well, that screwed me over. Oh, well, I guess like I was gonna do Pow Block and then Koopa Shell. But I guess we'll do, we're just doing Koopa Shell. Oh, they all lived. This could be bad. This could be bad. Oh, the Shy Guy's doubling their attack power. But you know what I say to that? To that? I say Koopa Shell again! Booyah! 13, 13, 13. The most unlucky number ever. Lol, kidding. Ooh, a nice flower. I should take that. Gotta take the iron jump also. No, please don't hit me. And we got another pow block here. But you're going, what you're gonna do is come out here. There's a pipe here we're gonna take right now, real quick. This gives us the short, a shortcut, which is neat. So, in case for whatever reason. We want to get out of here. We can now. This is the entrance to the level. So for a reason we want to leave and we want a quick escape, we can go out here. That definitely shows you you're near the top of the tower, too. But you also notice, over here, this door is upside down. So you're going to want to come over and grab it. Put it in your inventory. It'll flip it around. And then we're gonna repaper eyes again. 
Now we're going to stick the sucker back in place. And all the sand is going to flow out. So now when we go back inside, we can access that door the sand was covering. And this is the area where I may have to look up a guide the next floor up. Because there are... Cave drawings can throw you off. They're like... They're just a mishmash of stuff. So... I'm probably gonna... Oh, no room in the album. Let me see. See, this is a chill hammer. This is good to have, too. I'm gonna give her some of these spike tops. Keep it one, just in case I need it for the door. Because I don't remember. Dang nabbit. Alright, so we should have one more floor to go up after this one. Alright, so you can see that one's holding a, a flower. So that could be either ice or fire. That one's holding a hop slipper. That one's holding a leaf. Uh, that one's holding a shell. I'm gonna try something. No, hold on. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. This completely threw me off. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put an ice flower on the left. And then a pow on the right. I hate this part because they throw you off with all those other stickers. So this will allow us to go fight the boss. So I'm going to reorganize my stickers real quick. And then we're going to fill up our health and start this bad boy off. We're going to save our game just in case something happens. Now let's go fight the boss. Huh? Hey, isn't that a royal sticker? Let's go nab it. Shibby dibby. She needs to be Chinese alone. China Rooney. Let's go. So yeah, we get to fight a shiny pokey. As you can see after this level, you'll notice that the bosses are basically super powerful Mario enemies. So we had a Goomba, and now we have a Pokey, because it's Goombas are normal enemies for the normal world, the first world. Goombas are always in the plains, and then Pokies are always in desert levels. So it's not, uh, so it's natural to have a Pokey as a boss. So I'm gonna do this so I can always get a two. Oh, dang it. Oh well. Well, at least we get attacked twice. So, you're gonna wanna have the baseball bat on you, but you're not gonna wanna use it until he's fully stacked up. So until then, we're going to be using our other stickers, and you can't jump on them, I don't think. Let's test that real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use a weaker sticker just in case. Don't want to end up using a weak stick. Don't want to end up using a less powerful sticker. I mean, a more powerful sticker. Okay, so you can jump on him. He's not sharp. That's good to know. And then bird hammers do quite a bit of damage to bosses. Oh crap, I forgot to dodge! That was not good. Lost 8 HP there. Alright, so after every time you attack and he attacks, he'll rise up. You're gonna wait, wanna wait until he's stacked up all the way. So, you know what? Ooh, almost rolled three mushrooms. So I'm just gonna keep on using my lesser, po my less powerful stickers. Use the pow and the chill hammer. Chill hammer is basically the exact opposite of a burn hammer, so that it does ice damage. Sweet, with a 10. <laughs> he looks funny when he's crumpled. And that will make him not do an attack. So he didn't get to attack that turn. Oh, Crowl. I forgot. Now, oh, <laughs> he's not long enough. 
But now we can't jump on him because of his spikes. Uh, I mean, not jump on him. But now we can't hammer him. Use hammer attacks. So we're strictly only allowed to do jump attacks. What if we can still jump on him? Oh, yep, we can. Alright. But now he is long enough to do that attack. Jeez, that was a whopping seven. Oh no, now we're crumpled. Crabs. Okay. Crumpled can't move. We can't even block when we're. Oh jeez, 14. Please don't crumple, Mario. Oh god, we're gonna die. I, I just know it. I just know we're gonna die here. Unless he does a lot. Okay, good. Good. Okay, so what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do this so we can definitely get one. Oh, come on, game. We need a three. All right. So what I'm gonna do now that he's fully stacked up is I'm gonna use a shiny mushroom and I'm gonna show you the full power of the bat. Get excellent on your mushroom. Right after Mario spins, get 60 HP and now we're gonna use our bat. Now. 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 Booyah! Now! Woohoo! We did 45 every time! We knocked out a crap ton of his health. He is really hurting right now. So, to get rid of his lackeys here, I'm gonna hit the battle spinner. Alright, well at least we got two. I'm gonna use a... A shine diddly doodly fire flower. And does that hit everyone? Let me check. See. Fire some of the fires one that I can be going a single flow, so no. So we're gonna use it. Our shell. Oh, I messed up the fireballs. Dang it. Oh dang it. Alright, so now we're at Cooper Shell's face. Cooper Shell to the face, son. That did a lot of damage actually. Booyah! This guy, we have him in the bag. Alright. Let's actually try using a spike ball on him. Booyah! Alright, didn't do that much damage. Oh, here's the here's the pain in the ass kind of thing. He can regen 10 health. But he but since we, you know, baseball batted his uh his uh other segments, I guess we'll call them, he can't regrow. You do more the most damage to his head. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna roll the battle spinner. Dang have it! Well, at least we're getting twos. And I'm gonna use our flashy slap hammer and shiny slap hammer. Let's hope I don't screw this up. Yes! Oh yeah! That was a flashy one. So the shiny one will, will do. Oh dang it! Oh well. At least I pulled off a nice. Oh, man, that was that was a great amount of damage. Oh, I keep forgetting to get my hand ready to block. He's probably gonna regen. Hopefully not. Good. He didn't regen. All right, and yes. I don't care anymore. As long as we're getting twos, I'm happy. Well, let's see. Let's start. Let's actually use a shiny jump now and our shiny hammer. Why not? That's a neat combo. He's almost dead. Booyah! This is looking awesome. Oh, jeez! I keep forgetting to get ready the block. Okay, okay, please, please. Okay, good. He didn't do what I thought he was gonna do. Oh, come on. I'm having a lot of, I'm not having the best time here. Alright, I'm gonna use my flashy hammer since this guy's a boss. Let's see, do I have anything else? I don't think so. But before we do that, I'm actually gonna strategize a little and I'm gonna try to crumple him. Crumple. Come on, buddy. You know you wanna crumple. Oh. Oh well. Okay, he's got five health. Dang it! Okay, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, good. I think we can beat him in this turn, guys. Alright, here we go. Let's see if this will be the final blow. And it looks like it is! Booyah! Do, 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 do. Sh shiny. Oh! <laughs> Oh, 
A real sticker can even turn a pokey to something monstrous like that? What amazing power, huh? We better grab that royal sticker right now. That's correct, our second royal sticker! You got a royal sticker! Woohoo! A lonely stadium atop a desert tower. A royal sticker gave the pokey power. Chemic wielded magic dark and dour. And the tower folded like a withering flower. And we'll get another page to our album. Letting us have up to 75 stickers. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. And this means that now the tower is on the main world. So guys, in the next episode, we will be starting World 3, Lily Flitter Path. So, next, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!